از اول این شیطان راجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دیو ستودنس I welcome you all to today's lesson this is your teacher Mahpana Sir from Fuzaya and her college Manas teaching maths to grade 3 I hope all of you are in best of your health and safe at your homes so the, our today's topic is six digit numbers in expanded form. We have learned about expanded form of five digit numbers previously. For that, what we did was we first find the values of each digit in the number. For example, we have a number in front of us on the screens and that, that is 21578. Let's find the value of each of the digits in this number for that we will first find their place values remember always uh, write start writing place values from the rightmost digit that is one the rightmost digit is eight so eight's place value will be one seven's place value will be tens five is at hundreds place one at thousands place and two at ten thousands place right now to find the value of each digit we will multiply each digit by its place value like 2 is at 10,000 place so we'll multiply 2 by 10,000 right and the process will go on we'll start writing we'll uh, sorry multiplying the place well uh, digits by their place values starting from the left from the biggest from the largest place value so 2 at 10,000 place means 2 will be multiplied by 10,000 which gives us 20,000. One at thousands place means one multiplied by thousand gives 1,000. Five at hundreds place means five times hundred is 500. Seven at tens place means seven times tens is 70. And eight at ones place means eight times one is eight. These are the individual values of all the digits. We'll just add up all these values to get the original number. And this yellow strip in which all the values are written as a sum. This is known as the expanded form of the original number, which was 2.578. Now what actually expanded form is when we write a bigger number as a sum of the values of all digits. Writing a bigger number as some of the values of all digits is called expanded form of the number. For example, we have a number 4252, two, its expanded form will be, but before writing its expanded form, it's better to write place values over the number. Write the place values 2 at 1's place, 5 is at 10's place, 2 at 100's place, 4 at 1000's place, and this is, it goes on. So, 4 at 1000's place means 4000 plus 2 at 100's place means 200 plus 5 at 10's place means 5 times 10, 50 plus two times one is two. So this in green portion is the expanded form of the number 4252. Take our example, take them. We have another number 85,409. So it's expanded form, eight times 10,000 is 80,000. Five times thousands is 5,000. Four times 100 is 400. Zero times tens means zero into 10, zero, right? No need to write two times zero or three times zero. If you are writing it, not a big deal because the value remains the same it's still zero and nine times one is nine so writing it as the sum of individual values gives us the expanded form of 85409 expanded form of six digit numbers which is our today's topic that is also the same as we've been doing previously for example we have a number in front of us, 321578, right? First of all, write the place values. I'm saying it again and again. Write the place values first so that you know by which number you are going to multiply each digit to get its value. And start writing place values from the ones. Eight is at ones place, seven at tens place, five at hundreds place, one at thousands place, two at ten thousands, and three at hundred thousands. Now, multiply each digit by its value to get its original value, by its place value, sorry. Now, 3 at 100,000 means 3 multiplied by 100,000, 300,000. 2 at 10,000 means 2 times 10,000 gives 20,000. 
one at thousands place means one times thousand is one thousand five at hundreds place means five hundred seven at tens place means seven times ten seventy and eight at ones place means eight times one eight write it as sum of all the values add up all these values and we'll get the original number three two one five seven eight which is three hundred and twenty one thousand five hundred and seventy eight in the yellow strip you can see the expanded form of the original number which is written in blue let's have another example of writing expanded form of a given number you are given a number four three zero one eight zero keep this thing in mind that whenever we have a zero in a number we must write it as expanded form also in expanded form we are not going to omit it right abhi hum karenge to aapko zyada acche se samajh aayega first of all first step we have writing place values at the top one zero at ones place eight at tens place one is at hundreds place <coughs> another zero at thousands place three at ten thousands and four at hundred thousands right so this is your number four hundred and thirty thousand one hundred and eighty right okay now next step multiply each digit by its place value to get its original value four at hundred thousands means four times hundred thousands four hundred thousands three at ten thousands means thirty thousands zero at thousands place means Zero thousand. That is zero. If you write four times zero, or you write once, it's the same thing. It's still zero. One times hundred is one hundred. Eight times tens is eighty, and zero times ones is once again zero. Add them up all, and you'll get the original number. And in writing these as sum of all the individual values, you'll get the expanded form of the number. Four hundred and thirty thousand one hundred and eighty, and in the same way you can write expanded form of any number. Now to get a number when we are given the expanded form, right? Till now we were given a number and we were writing its expanded form, but now we will are we are given expanded form and we will write the number. First method simple. I told you earlier. Add up all the values. We are given some values. Add them all up, and you'll get the original number. Two hundred thousand plus fifty thousand plus seven thousand plus three hundred plus ten plus six. Write them vertically. Add them all up, and you'll get the number two five seven three one six. Yeah, two hundred and fifty-seven thousand three hundred and sixteen. That is our number. But for this method. it's a bit complicated in my view because you need to need a lot of space to write these numbers vertically and then write them according to their columns and then add them all up better is the second method which seems to be the longer one but it's all going to be done in your heads right second method just remember few points and you will just write the uh, number directly first of all write place values in the answer area and this yellow area is your answer area right we are given the example 200000 plus 50000 plus 7000 plus 300 plus 10 plus 6 the same number that we did previously write the place values of as at the top ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousand hundred thousands and so on then read the first value in the green portion Where you are given the expanded form. First value, kya hai? Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. What is the non-zero digit in it? Two, right? Write the non-zero digit only in the respective place value column. It's two hundred thousand. So in the hundred thousands column, you will write two. Right? Next value. Repeat for all the rest of the values. Next value hai fifty thousands. Fifty thousands. Now what's the non-zero num digit? It's five. Fifty thousands means five ten thousands, so in ten thousands we'll write five. Seven thousands means in thousands column we'll write seven. Three hundreds means in hundreds column we'll write three. Ten means in tens column we'll write one because ten is one zero, no? One times ten is ten, and in ones column we'll write six. So 
we have just written the number directly. Just write the place values at the top, read the first value and write the non-zero digit in the respective place value column. Then second digit, third digit, fourth digit and so on. This all starts with the rightmost digit, uh, sorry, leftmost digit, right? And remember, if the value of any digit is only zero, which we will have in the uh, next examples also, then you must put a zero in that place while writing the number. Let's have another example. We have a place uh, expanded form, 400,000 plus 30,000 plus zero, or zero thousands plus two hundred plus zero tens or zero zero plus zero plus six. Sorry. To write the uh, number, we will first write the place values in the answer area. Done. Not a big deal. Starting from ones, we have written the place values: ones, tens, hundred thousand, ten thousand, and hundred thousand. Okay. Next, read the first value. What is the first value here? Four hundred thousands. Write the non-zero digit only in the respective place value column. Four hundred thousands means in hundred thousands column we'll write four. Repeat for all the rest of the values. Next value is thirty thousands. Thirty thousands means three ten thousands. Three times ten thousands. So in ten thousands column we'll write three. Zero thousands means we have to write zero. Right? No matter what, it is still zero. But we will, we must write zero in the uh, place value column. Two hundreds means in hundreds column will write two. Zero tens means in tens column will again write zero. And six means in ones column will write six. And this is our number 430,206. Remember, once again, I'm saying if the value of any digit is zero, only zero, then you will put that zero in that place. Like in this, we have zero thousand, so in thousands column we have written zero. Zero zero means zero tens, means we have written this zero in tens columns. If we are not writing this zeros, then our whole number will be wrong. One more example, we have an expanded form, six hundred thousands plus eighty thousands plus three thousand plus zero 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 means zero hundreds plus zero tens plus five. First of all, once again, the same step, write the place values at the top and then start reading the first value and write the non-zero digit only in the respective place value column. It's 600,000, first value is 600,000. So we'll write this six in the 100,000 column like this. Repeat for the list of the values. This is 80,000, write this eight in 10,000 column. 80 means eight ten thousands. Three thousands means three times thousands, write three in thousands column. Zero hundred means zero in hundreds column. Zero tens once again, zero in tens column also. If by any chance you didn't write these zeros, what will that number become? Five in ones column. It will become six, eight, three, five, which will be wrong. That is a four digit number. And it will be called 6,835. Okay, wrong right? As the place value of six is 600,000, so this number is now 683,000, house of thousands set collectively, and five. There are 100 at uh, tens and hundreds place. We have zero, so we'll only say ones and five. Once again, if the value of any digit is only zero, that is there, uh, that is there in this example at tens and hundreds place, we had zero. So we have written these zeros in this respective columns. So guys, today we studied about six digit numbers, expanded form, when the number of given number was given, we, we, we've written expanded form of the numbers, and we've written numbers when the expanded form is given. This is your homework for today, 23rd June 2020. Uh, you have to do question number 11, 12, and 13 on your books. And these questions will be done easily if you have uh, understood today's topic. If you think you cannot understand anything in these questions or you are finding any difficulty, just watch this video all over again and you will be satisfied. Okay, so page number 32, question number 11, 12, and 13 is to be done on books. 
So in our next lesson, we will inshallah do comparison and ordering of six digit numbers as we've done with five digit numbers also. Thank you so much and uh, stay home, stay safe.